we are here to find out from students about their opinions on the sex for grade saga that hit the media yesterday. I was actually surprised with what I saw. I was thinking maybe since it's saying sex for great and the videos will be seen like some actual sexual scenes or something but what came out was just some talk between them. I'm not sure they did a good work. If, as I keep saying, if it's sex for great, the video should show, like prove to us that yeah, they are actually trading sex for great. But the videos you are seeing is kind of like just a conversation between them. Yeah. It could have been done like a low key something, not bringing it out and tarnishing the name of the school and the students and it. Yeah. I don't even think this is necessary because they are actually spoiling the image of this school. Imagine um, a student who wants to um, do his or her master's outside the country. Now um, the university has been, the name has spoiled. So it will be like when you try applying for a master's, it will be like, since you are coming from the University of Ghana, probability of you um, trading sex for grades is high. So whatever um, GPA or whatever class you graduated. Okay, actually, uh, BBC tried uh, to help students in the university to just acquire more knowledge so as to uh, so as they can just sit up and then uh, work on their own but uh, upon the video that we saw uh, how they started the video i can say boldly that they didn't do a good job looking at what i saw personally the lecturer, uh, the student, the lecturer went to wasn't actually a student of the of the University of Ghana, but uh, this the, the title they gave to the video was "Sex for Grade," and then the person who was the girl who was involved in this act wasn't actually a student of the university. Therefore, I can boldly say uh, the video they brought out wasn't as compared to the heading that was given to the video. Once again, they are trying to help to bring something down, uh, which is they are trying to uh, make students aware that they should just sit up and then learn on their own. They shouldn't depend on uh, the lecturers and then others. But the way they did the video wasn't the correct way. So therefore, they should just sit up and then find a new measure of working towards this thing so that this kanka can be ended. So I think, I think, yes. Even if not to be uh, BBC specifically, I think other medias or other people should just sit up and then work on this one so that all these lecturers will be fished out and then face the possible consequences. I think the BBC did a good job for such a documentary because it's always unfair to see that some people don't learn but at the end of everything all, they'll get good grace. And some of us who will be struggling to learn, at the end of it all, they'll pass better than, they'll do better than. So I think they did a very good job. I don't think what they did is something good for Africa because they want to tarnish our image in the first place. Although says for great is no good but they should have done it in their own continent so that is my opinion there should be independent bodies within ghana who is standing to check that in deviant behaviors among the students relationship with the teachers and even the way they go about writing the exams because mostly a, a lecturer will not go in for a student to have a sex with the person but rather it's the students who has been approaching the teachers because they are not learning they want to what they want to pass and pass well so they will go in for the teachers rather so there should be independent body or a committee of inquiry to do a severe what a severe investigation about what is happening because it's not just today, yesterday that the thing started happening. It has been happening for a years. So now that some people's uh, video has been leaked, there should be an autonomous body to do proper investigation to come out with what a uh, detailed information to fish out those who have been engaging in those activities. Mm -hmm.